All right, welcome back, Bobcat fans, to Inside the Den. Today we have a very unique episode. Today we're going to talk about gratitude. And this is Thanksgiving week. We have wrapped up a successful fall semester here at Lee's McRae. And we have quite a few coaches on the line today to talk about gratitude and what they're grateful for. And not only are we recording the audio of this message, but we are on Zoom together. We're recording the video. We're going to be posting this on our website at lmcbobcats.com. So be on the lookout for that. You'll get to see our faces as we're talking. So uh, we've got nine of us on the call right now. There might be a few more being uh, jumping in here shortly. Uh, and so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being on Inside the Den today. All right, what might be the easiest thing for me to do is one by one just call on uh, you. Uh, that way we're not talking over one another. I uh, want to say I really appreciate you all uh, joining us today to talk about this. I personally believe uh, and I think you would agree. We have a lot to be thankful for, a lot to be grateful for, and uh, and, and we want to talk about those things. A lot of which we have talked about throughout the episodes we've had lately, but I think people ought to hear from us about those extra things that we're grateful for. Maybe something from our personal lives or other aspects of our team and our programs or what's going on at the college that maybe others are not aware of. So to kick things off, I'm going to call on... Uh, the head softball coach, Kendall Fuller. Kendall, you're going to get this going. Maybe share with our listeners what you are grateful for at this time. Sure. Well, thanks, Tim. Um, you know, I'm really grateful to be here. So, obviously, uh, I just got here in August, and it's been a really good fall semester. And and um, I'm thankful for a team that that bought into to this transition and and uh, really did everything that they could to make sure that we had a successful fall season. Um, we accomplished a lot. I'm really excited about where the program's going, and I'm just thankful for, our, for the players that are, that are here currently on our team. Um, I'm also thankful for the community at Lee's McRae and Banner Elk. Um, you know, what an awesome place to live. Uh, I wake up every day and I see the mountains and and it's just a an excellent place to to be and and i couldn't be more grateful to get to live here and, and work at an awesome place like lee's mccray um it, this this fall the weather was amazing i i don't know who brought in those 60 degree days for us to play softball all the way through mid-november but we did um and, and i'm also thankful for that and now i'm ready to see the snow guns blowing on beach mountain and, and sugar mountain so we can get out there and ski a little bit Yep, uh, I'm with you there. Those are all good things, and boy, this weather has been amazing. Uh, and so, yeah, thank you for sharing it. I got one question for you. Your players, they've got to be pretty excited with the changes that have occurred lately there at your facility. Uh, what has been their response with the new additions with the turf around the uh, the playing field? Um, so, I and our players are, are really grateful for the investment on behalf of, of Lee's McRae Athletics and the college um, into our field. There's been some major upgrades uh, with turf and in the bullpens and um, from grass to, to grass from the outfield behind home plate. So it really gives us a space that we can utilize in various weather conditions. Um, it's leveled out our field a little bit, and we, we've done some other upgrades um, on the dugouts, just with the, the staining benches, painting dugouts, adding logos, um, those things. So um, our team has has bought into that and taken a lot of pride in the program. And and so along with the investment from Lee's McRae, we've gotten even more investment out of the players of, of taking care mm -hmm. of everything that we have out there. So it's really been amazing. Um, you know, a lot of changes in a short period of time, and, and it's really, um, you know, very productive and, and helpful for us in the program, and it's, it's just going to take the, the program to the next level. Yep, yep, yep. Looking forward to the upcoming season. We'll have you on a future episode where we talk about that. Yeah, what – what your team is looking forward to in the spring and just a preview of uh, spring 2021. Coach Steve Harden, talk to us a little bit about what you're grateful for this Thanksgiving here in 2020. Oh, this is a uh, 
a fresh new Thanksgiving for sure, Tim. Thanks for having us on. Um, uh, probably the number one most important thing to be thankful for right now is just the uh, the ability to coach. I mean, the simplicity of that. Um, uh, we I always say I've never worked a day in my life because I do what I love. Um, I think that part is just uh, more evident now and, and the time that we have had with our, our guys and our teams as coaches on here and then the time that we were kind of away. And right now, our, just like you know, our basketball guys are home and all our athletes are home right now. For, uh, basketball is to home for about 38, 40 days. Uh, so we're just excited to get them back and, and to get going. Um, naturally, also just super thankful for, um, uh, like I said, the ability to, to work at Lee's McCray and coach. Um, uh, I'm blessed to be able to be a coach. I've always uh, never took that for granted. Um, also, just naturally blessed for my kids, uh, keeping me on my toes, and my wife uh, trying to keep me straight as well. So uh, uh, definitely blessed Thanksgiving, even though it's different on a lot of circumstances. I think it'll be much better for all of us to time to reflect and see that. Yeah, that word reflection. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of that and have been here lately. I think that's something for all of us to uh, pause and uh, you know our jobs are not done even though all our teams are back home and enjoying the holiday or wrapping up the uh, their semester academically but reflection is a key part of our success moving forward uh, good stuff there Steve thank you for being here uh, next up let's have uh, the head coach of the men and women tennis team coach Gene Highfield Gene what do you hey, have for us thank you for for getting me on here. First, I want to thank you for getting this going. Uh, there's a lot to be grateful for. First, I'm grateful to be able to work here and being with you guys. The coaches have always been accommodating and warm and friendly in the school, the professors. I'm just grateful for the team. And like how Coach Kendall said, you know, they bought into to what we're trying to do here, what I'm trying to do here. and um, and it's just a good fit. And I'm thankful for my – I'm grateful for my wife and kids. And and to round it off, it is so beautiful to wake up here every morning and to see the beauty of the mountains and coming into school and, and, and just the feel. It's always a good feel here, even on a snowy, cloudy day. <laughs> yep. Uh, I echo that. I live on Beach Mountain and uh... – I never would have imagined when I was younger that I would live in the mountains and definitely not on top of one, but I tell you what, I wouldn't have it any other way, and I am I am personally grateful for that. So thank you for sharing that, Gene. Uh, next up, how about the Director of Sports Information, Patrick Smith, is with us today. Patrick, what are you grateful for now? Thanks, thanks Tim, for letting me be on this. I know I'm not a coach but i'm still um very grateful this thanksgiving the biggest thing is my niece i'm very thankful oh. for her uh, i've got the facetime with her kinsley grace she turned seven um yesterday or today so i um, very thankful for her uh but i'm also very thankful for coming all the way down here my family's four states away so um it's been nice in this community being very welcoming and bringing me into the family so i could say i have a family down here in north carolina too Good, good stuff, good stuff. Thanks for sharing that. Next up, let's have uh, the men and women volleyball coach, Caitlin Bullock. Caitlin, what are you grateful for this Thanksgiving? Um, I feel like I've been trying to think of trying to narrow it down and not go on a whole rant because I feel like I am thankful for so no, much. Go, of this go on a rant, go on a rant. <laughs> <laughs> um, first and foremost, I'm thankful for my athletes, um, both men and women's. Uh, they work their butts off, and I know I'm not the easiest to deal with at times. So um, we had a couple setbacks, but they are always positive, always in the office laughing or in the gym laughing. Um, I can't ask them for for more than what they showed up and did this semester. So I'm really thankful for them and just having a group that loves the sport and loves each other. So um, thankful for them. Thankful for my assistant, Abigail King. She's new at Lee's McRae and – just can't say enough about what she's helped me through and just having someone in the office to laugh with and not only laugh with, but also, you know, having a second opinion and talk with and just having that, that person kind of be super involved and want the same goals as I do is really, really unique. And I think has helped me immensely. Um, 
thankful for my boyfriend who's alumni, Gus Pedersen. Um, he's been by my side on the hardest days and um, is always for Lee's McRae and whatever Lee's McRae um, is trying to do. So he has been great for me and always has been. And then last and not least, my family and their health um, with all the chaos in the world, I think just having them be healthy um, and have a stable kind of environment at home. I, I think I'm very thankful for, especially with my father. He's been in a couple of surgeries in and out. So mm -hmm. just thankful that he's on the rise and healing. Um, and that's a little bit more personal, but I am thankful for that. And just thankful for Liz McRae and my opportunity to be able to show back up to work and be able to do what we all love. Um, not many people got the opportunity in this pandemic and things like that. So I think I'm very, very thankful for my job and being able to show up every day and actually do it. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Uh, boy, we, I don't, I don't believe in luck myself, uh, but we have been very fortunate this entire fall. We have dodged so many bullets and I'm sure we have all heard stories either from Craig or our own colleagues elsewhere in the struggle that they've been through real, real painful struggle. And uh, we've somehow avoided the largest portion of that and have come through it, I think, better and stronger uh, and have had all these wonderful things to talk about with the upgrades and facilities and, and our teams just being healthy and, and moving forward. So, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, next up, let's have men lacrosse coach, Coach Brad Dunn. Brad, what are you grateful for this moment in time? Uh, hey, Tim. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I have. I have far too much that I am, I am thankful for, um, up here. And, um, first and foremost, uh, I would probably say my senior class, um, you know, this is the group of guys that were freshmen. Um, when I first showed up here, um, they were a part of that, that first year where we only played a, a season with 12 guys and, um, which for men's lacrosse is just unheard of. Um, so for those guys to, to stick it out with me um, and believe in the vision that we collectively made um, to get to this point and going into their senior year, I'm just, I'm so thankful for those guys. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just fortunate. I'm fortunate that they, that they stuck it out with me. Um, I'm thankful for the, uh, the fellow coaches. Um, I think, you know, with, with everything that happened since since March, um, I feel like we as a coaching group have gotten so much tighter. Um, there are so many more group text messages, and we've uh, you know we've seen each other and talked to each other, whether it's you know through Zoom or are just passing each other masked up in the hallways. Um, I feel like we've we've come together so much more, and um, you know the whole it takes a village to raise a child. Um, you know, athletics is, is our child and it takes all of us collectively to come together and, and support each other and promote each other. And, um, I think the relationships that we have amongst coaches uh, is so much stronger, um, because of really because of the COVID situation It forced us to, you know, to really look intrinsically and, and how can we support each other? Um, and, and you know, lastly, you know, I'm just, I'm thankful for Banner Elk, um, you know, this has been my home away from home since 2001 when I started as a, as a student here. Um, you know, having, having family in town here, uh, owning two small businesses and, um, you know, the way Banner Elk and Avery County really tackled um, the pandemic and, and tried to stay ahead of it as best they could to, you know, to keep us healthy and happy um, so that we ultimately could have students back on campus. Um, Avery County has stayed ahead of it. Banner Elk has stayed ahead of it. The leadership in town has worked really well with the leadership of Liz McRae and Dr. King. Um, so just, just the community, uh, the community all around us to, to help us out um, so that we could get our students back on campus and we could still practice. And um, we, we couldn't have done it. We couldn't have done it alone. We couldn't have done it alone. I mean, that is, that is the mountains up here is everybody kind of supports everybody. Um, you know, we're not all, um, you know, out, out looking out for our own. We're going to, we're going to take care of our neighbors. Um, and I, th I think we really saw that this year, um, with Lee's McRae and Avery County and the town of Banner Elk and, and the leadership and all these places, we all worked so hard together so that we could be, uh, happy and successful. And of course, lastly, you know, so thankful for the turf, <laughs> so thankful for the, turf. 
um, you know, can't, you know, can't stress how important that's going to be for, for my program, the soccer programs, the women's lacrosse program and, and look uh, Lisa McRae as a whole, you know, to be able to offer intramurals on that field. Um, and uh, it's, it's going to be such a, such an exciting time moving forward. So. Yep. I've already seen quite a few teams already out there on the field, having some practices and uh, boy, it's uh, it's nice to see. It's just a it's a nice new addition uh, amid uh, the you could say turmoil, chaos, whatever you want to call what's going on uh, outside of Banner Elk, but boy, right inside our own little community, uh, we're actually thriving and doing pretty well. Uh, next up, let's have cross country and track coach Lee Fletcher. Lee, what do you have hey, for Tim. us today? Thanks, Tim. Um, I'm just very thankful, of course foremost for my family, uh, Lindsay, Holly. Um, I'm very thankful that I've lived in the mountains of Banner Elk, North Carolina, and worked at Lee's McRae for the last 13 years. Um, I've been very, very uh, grateful to the community. Um, it's been just a great place to uh, raise my daughter, Lindsay, and just a great place, uh, a great school to send her. As, as she's uh, continuing her sophomore year at Lee's McRae, I'm very, very thankful uh for that um, as she uh, continues her academic and athletic endeavors in the classroom um, and on the soccer field and uh, ski in the ski slopes. So um, just uh, very thankful uh, for the community, the family atmosphere. And it's just been a great place uh, to work and raise a family in the last 13 years. And I could not be any more thankful and have, have such a great place uh, for me and my family to have lived um, there. There, is nothing I can say. Um, I'm don't know what to say. I'm just really, really thankful uh, that I've had the opportunity to do what I've done the last 13 years to raise a family. Here. Yeah, that's uh, it. Can, it can be overwhelming if you stop and really think about just how fortunate, just in that regard of of, of our families that we all have, and the fa- and that we get to do it here. You know, uh, in Banner Elk and. W- a lot, a lot of times you'll you'll hear people discuss just how special this place is, and uh, and what it means for everyone. And you know, it's not an understatement. It's not a cliche. It's real. And it and I think this community and the town and the surrounding towns uh, are part of it, or as much a part of it as 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 just the people are itself. And it it is conducive to. Um, you know, having an awareness of just how important friends and family and, and others are in our lives. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, I echo that. Uh, next, let's have Travis Stanley. Travis is the, boy, he's the one that makes all the bells and whistles of this show go. Uh, he's my right-hand person in helping us produce it and put it out there. Travis, what are you grateful for at this time? Uh, well, first off, uh, certainly grateful for the health of my family and, and other loved ones that uh, none of them have been greatly impacted uh, by the last eight or nine months. Uh, certainly grateful for that. Um, but as it pertains to Lee's McRae, I, I'm just really thankful for um, the Lee's McRae community uh, that I've found myself in. Uh, I've been working here now for a little over a year and a half. And um you know, I think it, you guys can uh, certainly, I think, agree with this, but um, I feel like the Lee's McRae community, as well as even to a larger extent, Conference Carolinas, uh, I think is, are all pulling in a, in a similar direction um, from uh, just speaking from a, from a communicator standpoint. Um, I've been very grateful for the, the, the positive momentum of both Lee's McRae, as well as Conference Carolinas. Uh, really grateful for all the, all the people I work with here uh, and, um, specifically for being kind of allowed to, to do what, um, you know, I, I, I think is appropriate, what Patrick uh, thinks is appropriate from a communication standpoint. I've uh, been super grateful for Patrick ever since he's uh, came on. I definitely think he's, um, uh, he's a big help to me, obviously, and, um, and uh, has brought a, a different um, element uh, of sorts that um, the department didn't have. Um, but, um, but yeah, just really grateful for, <laughs> uh, Patrick over there uh, brushing his shoulders off, but uh, really mm-hmm. grateful for just um, uh, the ability to, like I said, to 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 really get kind of get in the weeds and uh, do what we felt was 
uh, appropriate and uh, having the, the freedom to do so because that is not always the case. Um, oftentimes you can oftentimes get censored in that way, but um, just really grateful for the Lee's McCray community. Yes, yes. I think we're, we're all in agreement there. I think we all, to some extent, shared that today. Uh, I'll share a few of mine. Uh, first off, if it's about Lee's McRae and our community on campus, I would say first, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for the leadership at Lee's McRae. Uh, and that's everyone with a VP before their title. That's the president. That's Craig. That's everyone who has had a hand in making the big decisions. Uh, as you all know, it's a it's a thankless job. And uh, well, you're under a microscope, and everything you say and do is going to get get uh, scrutinized and, and criticized. But in the end, those decisions have helped us to be where we are today. So I'm I'm grateful for them and. And, and I do not envy their position of those decisions and uh, what they have had to go through to come to that. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Uh, someone, uh, I believe it was Brad, you mentioned uh, grateful for your seniors. And I'm glad you brought that up because I have 11. I have 11 seniors this year. And, boy, they've been carrying a large burden for our team and leading our team and uh, making sure that our semester uh, went well. You know, they've helped to smooth out some edges, not just this year, but the last year, two and a half years, really, they have stepped up and helped put us in a place where we are today as a team. And without them, yeah, I don't even want to think about where our program would be right now without our 11 seniors. So I'm grateful for them. Uh, lastly, on the Lee's McRae front, I'm grateful for my new assistant coach, Zach Gregg. Uh, I don't know how many of you have had a chance to interact with him, but he's outstanding. Uh, it's been nice to work with him every day and talk with him at length about uh, about coaching, the art of coaching, and uh, and it's just been fun to not only work with him but also ride with him a lot. He's been dragging me around these roads and <laughs> through the mountains for quite a while since he got here. So I'm grateful for Zach and what he brings to the table for the future of our program. Uh, and so, and lastly, on a on a personal note. Uh, I am most thankful for my mom and my dad. Uh, my my dad just turned eighty, and uh, he's he's uh, he's alive and kicking. Just turned eighty years old, and my mom she's seventy two, and she's been battling cancer for about three years now. And my dad uh, is taking care of my mom, and they're both just hanging tough, and they're hanging in there. And you know, I think maybe some of you all can relate to this that my parents have been huge huge supporters of mine since I was a little boy as an athlete now as a coach uh, when I said I was going to move to the mountains of North Carolina <laughs> you know I didn't want to leave my entire family but to do what I wanted to do I had to come here and that meant leaving them behind it meant leaving everybody I cared about behind to come here and now this community is my family, uh, but I miss my, my mom and my dad and what they, uh, what they mean to me and how much they have meant to me all my life uh, and how supportive that they have been. They have not one time told me no or I was crazy. Uh, they just said, you know, go for it. And they've been hugely, hugely supportive uh, of me throughout the years. I'm just grateful they're still here on this earth and uh, I'm going to get to see them later on this week. So uh, I'm sure, you know, um, you all can relate to the sacrifices our families make for us to do what we do. Uh, uh, but, you know, that's the nature of coaching. So, uh, well, everybody, thank you for being on today's episode of Inside the Den and sharing what you are grateful for uh, in this time in 2020. We have a lot uh, to look forward to in 2021. Uh, so, hey, we got work to do still, you know, and... Um, you know, it's a bright future ahead, and if we can get through what we've been through, uh, we can certainly tackle whatever's coming our way in 2021. So thank you to Coach Fletcher, Patrick, Travis, Coach Fuller, Coach Bullock, Brad Dunn, Gene Highfield, Steve Harden. Thank you for being on Inside the Den today. And as always, go Bobcats.